coming up on today's episode of the Pumpkin Patch Show. Borderlands 2 finally gets the update we've been waiting for. Nintendo's flirting with virtual reality and two PS Viewer games are going free to play. All that and more, or maybe just all that, after the intro. Hey there lads and ladies, welcome to episode number 8 of the Pumpkin Patch Show. The only PSV or content you can find on the internet. Don't let anyone tell you differently, there's lots of liars out there, a lot of people looking to con you and deceive you. Don't listen to them, okay? Now as always, I am joined by a special co-host guest, and uh, this guest host today is none other than the Irish martial arts movie, Fatal Deviation. Fatal Deviation. Always a pleasure. How's it going? I'm not paying you to sit around here on your arse. Borderlands for both your hands. So those of you out there who are waiting to get Borderlands 2 V or once they added the aim controller support, well you're in luck because the absolute mad lads over at Gearbox have actually updated the game to include aim controller support. Now they've also added a few other things, a few quality of life improvements, but I have to give mad props to Gearbox for actually continuing to support the game, for delivering what they said they would do. They could have just dropped us and then moved on, but they didn't, so fair play to them. And they're even promising future updates over on Redis where they're gonna address even more quality of life type improvements down the line. Now I enjoyed Borderlands 2 myself with the move controllers, but I ended up getting distracted. I kind of never really went back to it again, but now that they've added aim controller support, I kind of have to go back to it again to check it out. Now Fatal Deviation, I know you prefer your fists and your feet to guns, but what would you, would you play uh, Borderlands 2 with the aim controller support? What do you think about the aim controller being supported in Borderlands 2? <laughs> the spares you want the vr headset you make it that yourself nintendo virtual reality no you're not having a stroke you did hear that correctly and that is because nintendo have recently revealed their version of what virtual reality will be on the nintendo switch at least thanks to the nintendo Labo VR. So Nintendo Labo VR will see you constructing various random objects out of cardboard and then you will place your switch inside the cardboard like Google Cardboard and that's how you'll hold it up to your face and you'll view the VR that way. So one of the designs is like a gun barrel attaching to your face. There's another one where you can just be like looking inside a bird's asshole for some reason. Who knows what kind of game will go along with that particular experience but that one did pique my interest out of all of them now the news has sparked a little bit of debate online with some people wondering is this a good thing for vr or is this something that might negatively impact vr thanks to the mainstream audience of the switch and the relatively low barrier to entry of nintendo labo vr itself so to argue this joining me in studio tonight are two experts in their fields we have dr reginald siegel and professor kimberly biscuits thank you both very much for taking the time to join me today now dr siegel we'll go to you first you believe that this this announcement from nintendo could be negative for vr as a whole would you care to talk about that a bit and elaborate on that a little bit please Listen, the thing you have to remember is that about, you know, 90% of the entire population of Earth are absolute idiots when it comes to gaming. And then when you go to VR gaming, that goes all the way up to 99%, 0.9%, you know? So when these people get their hands on a Nintendo Labo VR, they're going to experience this. They're going to be disappointed because, let's face it, it's not going to be the high-end VR experience. I mean, it's a 720, 720p display that you're attaching to a child's face. You're doing serious damage to that child's eyes, by the way, I, I'll assume. 
and uh, you're not you're just not going to get that same quality experience that you would get from the higher higher end headsets you know and as a result these people would be disappointed and they're going to be like oh viewer is shit viewer is shit just like 3d tv was shit you know it's bad pr for viewer if you know what i mean and that's a that's a bit of a a nice sound voice you can use there bad pr for viewer Okay then, and Professor Kimberly Biscuits, you'd be the other side of the argument then. Could you perhaps elaborate on what, on your side of the argument, on what you think VR or what Nintendo, Nintendo can bring to VR? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Mario, Zelda, Luigi, you know, Smash Bros, mm, Zelda, Mario, Star Fox. Hmm. Hmm. But I will say that Zelda, Smash Bros, Mario, uh, Luigi. But I would never, I would never go as far as to like claim that uh, you know, Metroid, uh, Pikmin. You know, that would be ridiculous. Megalith, Megalith, my balls. Do you remember Megalith, the two v two MOBA? that was released not too long ago well that one is now going free to play kind of so what the deal is it's like a trial version where you'll be able to download it for free and you'll get to pick two titans out of the full selection now those two titans will rotate over time so the only way to guarantee that you'll be able to pick your favorite titan every time you play it is to buy the full game which i think is okay I mean, Megaliths, not, not many people talking about that game. I think that game really needed some kind of a kick up the ass to uh, get people talking about it again. And I think this is at least a step in the right direction. So it's nice to see the developers' disruptive games actually being very proactive about it. You know, they're trying to do something rather than just let it die. Now, I'm sure it has a community of its own. I'm not saying it doesn't. But I'm just saying it's not lighting the world on fire as it is. So now I'm actually going to, I'm interested in checking it out. You know, you can't argue with free. Speaking of going free to play, Abstract Battlefield. So Honor and Juicy D-Day recently released on PSVR. And people seem to be enjoying this despite its rudimentary kind of aesthetic that it has going on. But the game also did come with a Battle Royale mode, which may be coming as its own separate free to play game according to PSVR YouTuber Polish Paul. Now I watched Polish Paul's video. I've been told on numerous occasions that this man does speak English. I was listening to the video. I wasn't hearing English there. It's, it's I'll assume Polish, but uh, luckily I do have some people who were able to translate the video for me and they told me that according to him, he was saying that the developer behind Honor and Juicy D-Day is in touch with Sony and he's trying to make that separate mode into a free-to-play game, which I think would be very cool. I'm a big fan of all Battle Royale games being free-to-play, especially on PSVR where the numbers are going to be lower than you know any other platform where Battle Royale is available. So I would welcome that with two open arms. Fatal Deviation. Now you remind you remind me of someone who would enjoy a bit of battle royale. Like, what do you think of this? Would you try this out? What the fuck is this? Different strokes for different folks, I guess. So that's it for this episode of the Pumpkin Patch Show. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, but before I go, let me give a massive thanks to all my Patreons who are floating around the screen or wherever I've put them right now. Thank you very much to these people, they're the reason I get out of bed in the morning to make these videos. Or rather, the reason I stay up until 5 o'clock in the morning making these videos. Thank you very much lads. Uh, over on Patreon we're working towards goals for the channel. Now right now I've got to put up that we're working towards a capture card, but I'm thinking it's going to be a microphone instead. Uh, just because I think that's probably a bit more important, so I'll change that over. But yeah, we're working towards that goal. If you'd like to help out with that, then the link is in the description. But if you don't want to do that because you just know I'll squander the money on potatoes, then you can just help out the old-fashioned way by doing all the usual shite. The likes, the shares, the comments, and all that crack. And I'll appreciate that very much as well. So that's it for this video, lads and ladies. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.